At the start of the application is information to help you complete the form. Read through this to see the types of information that you may need to provide with your application, including examples of documents. Tooltips are available to help you complete your application. Click on the tooltip icon to display more information to help you with your application. A navigation bar is displayed throughout the application, showing all the sections you need to complete for your individual circumstances. It allows you to move to different sections within the application at any point and shows you which sections are complete, indicated by a green check mark, partially complete, indicated by a green half circle, or yet to do. At any point, you can save your progress and continue at a later time. Use the Save and Exit link to save the information you have entered and leave the application. To resume a saved application, go to your My Family Services homepage. Your saved application will be shown in your Activities in Progress and you can resume from where you left it. Throughout this application, you will be asked to attach documents. You will also have the ability to submit supporting documentation before you submit your application. If you are completing the application using a device with a camera, such as a smartphone or tablet, it's easy to upload photos of your documents. Tap the Upload Files button and take a photo of the document. It will be automatically updated to your application. If you are using a computer, you can send photos to the computer or use a digital scanner to upload the documents to your application using Upload Files or drag and drop. If you don't have access to a smartphone, tablet, or computer, you can submit the paper documents you need for your application by fax or mail. Please keep in mind, it may take up to three weeks to process documents received by fax or mail. To finish the application, you will be asked to confirm the information you are submitting is true and complete. Please read this over carefully before you provide your consent. You will also be required to provide consent to the disclosure of your income tax records by the Canada Revenue Agency. You will receive a message in the portal once your request has been processed. If you have a spouse, they will be required to provide their own ID and CRA consent before your complete application can be submitted to the Child Care Center. The status of your application will show as pending on the My Family Services Hub homepage until your spouse completes their sections. In order to provide their necessary information, your spouse will be sent an email with instructions and a link to follow. Once your spouse has provided their consent, the status of your application will be updated on your My Family Services Hub homepage. After submitting your application, 
you will receive a message with a checklist of outstanding documents. You can check the status of your application on your My Family Services Hub homepage.